Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I always have trouble talking about my eye and stuff like that. Not because of like my self-image anymore, but more of I hate using a disability as a means to make money and stuff like that. I always kind of had that problem. And I always tried to like walk in the line and stuff like that because my eye, people find it interesting. Um, and it gets a lot of views. So people want to know about it. Um, so I always hate, I always hate get, getting views from a disability and stuff like that. Anyways, I talked to my mom about it and she was like, you know, what if somebody's in the same situation as you where they, for a long time, they suffer with self-image because of what, how their face looked or how their eye looked and stuff like that. So it's like, I kind of see both sides to it. So I'm like, you know what, I'll, I'll just do videos and if people have a problem with it, I apologize. Um, if not, then here you go. Here's the video about uh, my eye and stuff like that. Okay, so how to drive while being blind in one eye. Um, I drive in the United States. I've been driving for roughly five years. Um, things I've learned and stuff like that while driving is that it's a lot easier to drive when you're in the United States or at least countries that you drive on the right side of the road. It's a lot easier being blind in one eye and so that than, uh, or being blind in my left eye than it is my right eye. If I was blind in my right eye, then I wouldn't be able to see most of the windshield. It's kind of like if I went to like a, if I went to a country that drives on the left side of the road, um, it would be bad because I couldn't see the entire windshield pretty much, well, because I blind my left eye. Um... That's kind of the same thing. People in like countries that drive on the left side of the road and they're blind in their left eye, it's probably going to be a big problem. For me, I drive the I, majority of the time I'm driving in the United States and driving on the right side of the road, so being blind in my left eye isn't really that big of a problem. Sure, there's challenges that have to do with it. I have a bigger blind spot on my left side, so I have to turn my head the entire way to make sure there's nobody in my blind spot when I'm trying to merge lanes or switch lanes and stuff like that. On my right side, it's not really a big deal. It's super easy to look over. Um... Uh, death perception. I was in when I was learning how to drive initially. Um, when I just got my permit and stuff like that, um, my driving instructor was like, "Oh, I'll be you'll be hitting a lot of objects, all this, all that, because you're blind in your left eye. You have no death perception." That's not necessarily the case. If for at least for my case, um, I've been blind pretty much since birth. Like 30 minutes after birth, that's when I lost my left eye. Um, so it's not that much of a big deal for me. Um, I've gotten used to not having any death perceptions, so basically I can tell distances in my own way. It's not the same way people with two eyes can tell distances and stuff like that. So, driving one eye, for me, it's not really that big deal. It's not really a big deal. It's more of the experience you get while driving. Everybody learns in their own way. Everybody is taught in their own way. Um, but the test that I had to go through was back when I was 15. Um, crazy to think that was six years ago now. But, um... They go ahead and they have um, a red light sensor um, that goes around and tests your peripheral. If you pass the test, then you can drive. I was kind of on the edge. Like, they're like, yeah, you can drive, but you will, like, just pass it by, like, half a point. Which, I guess it's very minuscule when they talk about half a point and stuff like that. So, yeah, I was able to drive. Um, thank goodness, because I wouldn't be where I am today if I couldn't drive. Because there's so much that you lose, that you lose out on if you can't drive. Um, that's also hanging out with friends. You have to rely on friends driving. You have to rely on your parents driving you. It's just a, it's a whole hassle. So I'm glad I've been able to drive. Um, that's kind of my takeaway from this. Um, everybody is a little bit different in their own way. Um, some people may be legally blind where they have a really high prescription or they're blind in one eye or they have some disease like my, uh, my uncle's brother actually has a disease where slowly but surely he's going blind in both eyes where his peripheral keeps going inwards until like he won't have any vision in his eye. He's not allowed to drive anymore because of that. So it's like there's different there's different things of blindness that happen, different things. So everybody's different in their own way. Um, I'm not gonna say yes you can drive, but I'm also not gonna say no. It really depends on the person. But anyways guys, thank you much for watching the video and stay awesome. Goodbye everyone.